actually holding this in my hand. I feel like very happy. <laughs> So today is lovely, <laughs> is Saturday. I have been trying to film this vlog all day. It is now 5.13 p.m. I woke up with an awful headache. It's feeling a lot better now. I took some pain medicine. I took a shower, drank lots of water, and now it's finally going away. I still feel a little bit hazy, but the pain is subsiding. So that is really good. But I have a whole list of things to talk to you guys about. So I don't know how long this is gonna take. Get cozy, grab a drink, grab a snack, grab a little blanket, a little fur baby if you have one just get comfy because i have a lot to talk about and then we have an exciting thing to open yesterday um felt like a really weird day i woke up extremely early because my nephew was graduating he's going to first grade <laughs> honestly it's sending me through a loop because i feel like he was literally just born what do you mean he's going to first grade it's so weird. And today's already May 20th. I feel like I just made my vlog where I said happy May 1st. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so we had my nephew's graduation. We went and ran a few errands. We went to Target and there was a Kindle Paperwhite there and I got to mess with it. And I, I've been thinking about the Kindle Paperwhite like nonstop, but getting to see it and mess with it in person it's really beautiful and i've been having like such a good time reading on my kindle as you know like every reading vlog i'm reading on this thing and i've been having such a good time with it and like libby is a godsend so whenever i have funds the kindle paperweight is is really high on my list i love this kindle don't get me wrong but the battery life sucks this thing it dies so fast like i'll charge it and then i'll take it off the charger and like a few hours later i won't even touch it and it's on like 80 percent but like it was just at 100. battery life sucks on this thing so yesterday was a good day it felt really weird though because i did get up early and then when we got home i took a nap and then i woke up and the weather was completely different it was so sunny in the morning but i woke up and it was like a torrential downpour like it was raining crazy i felt like i woke up in a different dimension and i was so confused i finally picked up some of my middle grade may tbr got three of them here i kind of want to start some of them this weekend but i'm not sure we got the chance to fly this is one of britney's absolute favorites i was on a call with her when we were making our tbrs and she was like you have to read it so i picked it up and it's relatively short and i've heard that it's really good it is about musical theaters so i can be a theater girly sometimes so i'm really excited about that one and then we got one that i have been dying to read for since it came out honestly and that is the dreadful tale of prosper reading by alexandra bracken i was going to read this last year when we did a middle grade may but i didn't pick it up so i'm super excited for this one because one the cover is gorgeous i don't really remember what the premise of it is but i've heard it's like spooky i think there's ghosts in it it is it has everything and more that i want in a book then we have another one that i am really ecstatic about and that is cameron battle and the hidden kingdoms by jamar j perry the premise just sounds so good and it's like it's fantasy and i'm just i'm really excited and this cover please like, look at how stunning this is so i'm really excited about all these books that i picked up i want to start i think i want to start some of them this weekend but i don't know which one to start with 
we have a hefty TBR, so we got all of these ones that I could read this weekend. And I'm still in the middle of Lockwood & Co. I'm kind of feeling between these two. More books that I have. I don't think I'm going to be getting to all of these this weekend because there's only two days. Today's almost over already. My holds came in for a few books on Libby. This is How You Lose the Time War. I have seen this all over Twitter and Clara has read this recently and she said it was so good. Literally have no idea what this is about. Like, I don't know anything at all. So my hold for this came in. I don't know when I'm going to be picking this up. I borrowed it for 20 days. So I have some time. The cover is beautiful. And then I was just perusing Libby like I do sometimes and I saw that they have this one book and I am very excited. I was very tempted to buy it yesterday. A Day of Fallen Night by Samantha Shannon. Priori of the Orange Tree is one of my favorite fantasy books and I have been so excited to read this. This is on my 23 books to read in 2023 list and I'm really excited for this one. So I also borrowed this for 20 days because I know this is going to take me forever because on Kindle it is 868 pages which is really long. <laughs> I have it now and I'm really excited and this cover is gorgeous and I, I'm I'm, I love a good dragon story. So we got a lot of books to choose from and I feel like I'm getting out of my slump. Last weekend was kind of difficult because I wanted to read but I was just in like my Minecraft mindset so I didn't really want to read anything really. So current reading updates. I'm almost done with Lockwood & Co. I've been reading this like crazy the last few days. I am now 74 percent through Lockwood & Co. The Screaming Staircase. They're in um, Kunkiri Hall now and it is kind of different than how it was in the show and I'm kind of liking it. Also, on the same note of Lockwood & Co, I saw a tweet on Twitter. I don't know how true this is, but someone said that Disney Plus is looking into picking up Lockwood & Co potentially for other seasons, and I really hope that is true because I am I've still been so distraught over the canceling of it on Netflix, so I really hope that Disney Plus will pull through and pick it up because I just I just need it. I need it, you know? I really hope that tweet was factual. My life depends on it at this point. I have been feeling like a little bit in a reading slump, but since I have been reading more Lockwood & Co and picked up these middle grade books, I've been feeling more inclined to want to read. But with like Lockwood & Co, like reading it, it's kind of making me realize like kind of how scary it is. Obviously you get more inner monologue about like everything that's happening. And like Lucy's talent, her talent would be absolutely terrifying. I would not like that at all. <laughs> Poor girl, she goes through it. But other than those for the weekend, I really want to listen to NF's new album because I haven't listened to it yet and I have tickets to go to his concert in July. I love NF. His music got me through a lot. The search was everything to me when it came out. Um, so I need to get on this new album and listen to it because I have the concert coming up in a few months and I, I want to be well prepared. <laughs> so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna read. And then I have a really exciting unboxing that we're going to get into now. As you should probably know by now, Five Seconds of Summer is my favorite music group ever to exist in the whole entire universe. I've been listening to them since I was 13, so I've been listening to them for almost 10 years, which is crazy. I've been searching high and low for the album Calm on vinyl, but the cheapest that I could find of it was like $70 because I don't want to say it's out of print because that's like for books, but like it's been out of print. It's been really hard to find, but I was searching for the CD on Amazon because I've been thinking of collecting CDs as well since vinyls can be really expensive sometimes. So I clicked on the CD. It shows like the different formats of Calm. So it was like CDs and then I clicked on vinyls to see if there was any used and then I scrolled down and then there was a new for $20. $20. I have never purchased anything so fast in my life. I got the biggest adrenaline rush from that. I don't know why, but I was like, I was shaken. I felt like I was gonna throw up. I was like bouncing off the walls. I literally flew out of my chair and it came in today. I don't know why it's in such a big box. It came in a few hours ago and it has taken everything in me to not open it because I wanted to open it with you guys because I've opened all my vinyls with you. So I'm really pumped. I'm, I'm ecstatic. I'm also trying to use other words other than very excited because Editing my vlogs is really difficult because the amount of times that I use that word. I probably use it a lot in this vlog already, but I'm trying to grow and expand my vocabulary. But we're gonna open this. I'm shaking now. Okay. Okay. It's in another box. <laughs> we got a box inside a box. This in here is calm and I'm... I can't... I'm really hoping that it's in good condition because I was watching an unboxing of someone who got the normal black pressing off of Amazon. She got it and it was like severely damaged. So we're manifesting that it's in perfect condition. All right, here we go. <gasps> it's actually in here. I was kind of scared that it wasn't gonna be an actual vinyl. You see that? You see what it says? <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, I'm closing my eyes. I'm letting you see it first. 
Oh my gosh, <laughs> I opened my eyes. Mr. Luke Cummings was staring right at me. So we finally have comb on vinyl. Um, yeah. <laughs> so here's the front. I absolutely adore this cover. And then the back. And it's crazy because Calm, this is like self-titled. This is a self-titled album and you wouldn't think so. But it's all their names. So Callum, Ashton, Luke, and Michael makes Calm. And they're literal geniuses. I You can't tell me otherwise. Five Sauce are the smartest people I've ever seen. I was going to say met, but I haven't met them. So we are going to open this up. I don't think it's a gatefold. I think it's just... um a single i don't see any damage so far <laughs> so that's a good sign <laughs> it's so beautiful i can't wait to put this with five plus five um so here it is i don't have any copy of this album i have a copy of all their other ones but not this one um so here's the inner sleeve absolutely stunning oh my gosh <laughs> wait i'm actually holding this in my hand this feels so surreal you got all the boys you got luke Callum, michael ashton and then on the back, you got all of them still. And then, oh my gosh, <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna cry. Yep, 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 yep. Here it is, it's upside down. Here it is. Oh, wow. I own Calm on vinyl. Honestly, I didn't really care about like waiting to get like a different pressing or anything. I feel like as long as I have it to listen to, that is perfectly fine. The neon pink one would be cool. But, um, honestly, I just wanted it <laughs> so I could listen to it. I've been impatiently waiting for this ever since I ordered it on Thursday. Um, but it came really fast and it's in perfect condition and I am just so excited. I'm so happy. That is it for now. Um, I'm, we're going to listen to Calm and probably cry. I say that every time before I listen to Five Sauce. I really hope it plays well. So we're gonna listen to Calm. I, we're probably gonna read more Lockwood & Co. And yeah, I'm just... I feel like very happy. <laughs> oh, also, another thing I want to do this weekend is start watching XO Kitty because it came out. It's a spinoff to um to all the boys. It's about um Lara Jean's little sister, and it looks so good. One of my friends has already watched it, and she's like, "Please watch it." So I definitely want to get to that this weekend because it just seems like such a good time. So I'm going to listen to Calm and cry, and I will see you guys on the other side. Wish me luck. <laughs> It is now Sunday today. My headache, I think it's like almost pretty much gone. I feel like it has just like a single strand of hair still in the door because I still feel it just a little bit, but it's on its way out. I think the reason why it's still kind of here a little bit, I listened to Calm on vinyl and I think I had it just a little bit too loud, but it was my first time listening to it on vinyl. I've been looking for it since I got my record player. So I, I just, I just wanted to live in the moment. Calm on vinyl though, I feel like I transcended humanity. I shed a tear during Best Years and Lonely Heart. I don't know why those songs get me. Anyways, um, so it is a very gloomy, overcast day. So it has like really cozy reading vibes. And I definitely took that opportunity this morning and I ended up finishing Lockwood and Co. I think I'm gonna give this like a 3.75 because it's almost at the four star, but compared to like my other four star ratings, it's not quite there yet. It's almost there. Tom Gary Hall, I feel in this book, I feel like there was a decent amount of differences between specific things that happened, but it was scary, let me tell you. <laughs> it was great. Lockwood, I don't know how he was so pulled together and how he's like so smart 
Like, he is an actual genius. I didn't know I was coming up to the end as close as I was because there's like a little index at the back that tells you like the differences between all the ghosts and just all the terms that were used in the book, as well as a chapter sample for the next book. So when I was on the last chapter, I was like, wait a second, <laughs> this is the last chapter. So I'm a little sad, but the way that it ended, I really enjoyed. And I am very excited to continue on with the series. Unfortunately though, my library doesn't have the rest of the ebooks on Libby, but I think they might have them physically, which is okay. Like I just want to read them. <laughs> 3.75 to The Screaming Staircase. And I'm really excited to continue on with the series. So if you have watched the show and you want more content, definitely reference the books because you'll get your answers there. <laughs> one of the very specific reasons why I decided to read the books is one, because I just want more content. Two, I'm really sad that the show is canceled. And three, I just need to know what's behind the door. It's been on my mind since I watched the show. I just wanna know what's in the room. Like, why did it leave off on that cliffhanger? And we might not even get to know the answer in the show. So I'm doing my own personal research by reading the books. I think I need to continue on with my spooky ghosty stories because they're just my favorite. So. We're going to read this one next. I feel like this one is going to be perfect. The cover is stunning and I just I just need to continue on with these vibes. And Brittany has told me that I would really enjoy this book. I have high hopes, but I've learned my lesson with Flower Heart not to let my hopes get too high. The time has finally come where I'm reading it and it feels surreal. I don't know how much we're going to be getting done of reading this this weekend, but we're definitely gonna be starting it today. That's about all I have planned for the rest of the day is starting Prosper Reading and then making dinner. We're having baked potatoes and I'm so excited because I figured out how to make them like perfectly in the air fryer and potatoes are my lifeline. Potatoes are my favorite food ever in existence. So anytime I get a chance to eat them, I, I hop on it real quick. And I also started watching Exo Kitty last night and it has very strong K-drama vibes. The way each episode ends off, it just makes you wanna keep watching it. I didn't wanna stop watching last night because I just wanted to see what was happening. We ended on episode three and the end of episode three, if you watched it, you know, I'm very intrigued to see what happens next. But I think I also wanna play a little bit of Minecraft tonight because I haven't really played it in like a week or so. And I'm missing my cat and my dog and my mushroom house and my little strawberry bee sanctuary. I'm just missing it all. I'm really excited to get to this book. But I think I'm going to go start dinner because my siblings are hungry. I'm also hungry and I just want some potatoes while I wait for the potatoes to bake. I'm going to read some of this. It's gonna be such a good night. I'm just gonna have a nice little spooky book and baked potatoes. I'm, I'm literally gonna be living my best life. I couldn't ask for anything better. Sadly, the time has come to close out this vlog. I would keep continuing on with this vlog for the next couple days or so, but I'm gonna be very busy. So I doubt I actually have that much time to vlog. So it's coming to an end now and I'm really sad. I've made it to page 60 of The Dreadful Tale of Prosper Reading. I am loving this book so much so far, but I have to say I am not a fan of Prosper's family because they suck. They treat him so poorly and for what reason? <laughs> I really don't understand why they treat him so bad and it kind of makes me really salty and really upset. And we've already gotten very deep into the plot already. I was correct that it is spooky and it is ghosty. There was kind of a ritual that was performed and honestly, it was kind of scary. I was kind of scared a little bit. I absolutely adore the atmosphere of the town. It's just, it's so good. And they're entering fall. Prosper was describing like the leaves and the atmosphere and the vibes and everything. And it just sounds absolutely stunning. It sounds so beautiful. I would like to live here. Maybe not because of like the culty rituals that have been briefly mentioned, but just with the vibes, it seems really good. I'm really glad that I decided to pick this up. I feel like it was the perfect read. 
and I definitely would have read more last night if I hadn't stayed up really late gaming, but I flew through the 60 pages. I wasn't expecting to read that much, but I just, I couldn't stop. I am on chapter eight now and I'm having a great time. So I'm excited to see more about like what happened and why there was a ritual performed. Last night, um, as I briefly mentioned, I stayed up way too late gaming. I played Red Dead Redemption, which I haven't played in a long time, made a new friend on there, and we stayed up far later than we should have stayed up playing. But it was just so fun. I haven't played that game in a long time, and it was nice to just be a little cowgirl. <laughs> I have another writing update. I know I was talking to you guys about my new adult fantasy, but I have a shiny new, sparkly new, very exciting idea for a middle grade book. And the plot that I have figured out so far is so cute. I'm very conflicted on what I should work on. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of both <laughs> because I already have a lot of the new adult fantasy figured out, but the shiny new idea is really calling to me. And it seems like a good time. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm probably gonna be working on a little bit of both depending on the mood because I'm just brainstorming, but I want to write a lot next month. And in July, I kind of want to participate in Camp Nano. So I got to get the ball rolling <laughs> and actually dedicate myself to writing. That is going to be it from me for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know how your guys' weekend went, what you've been reading, what you've been up to, if you've been writing, um, what you've been playing, if you play games, just let me know all the things. Um, I hope you all are doing well. This weekend was a very good one. I got five sauce in the mail. I finished a really good book. I started a really good show. I played a really good game. I started another really good book that I've been wanting to read for ages. And I feel like it's been a happy weekend for me. So I hope it's been a happy weekend for you all as well. If you made it to this point in the video, I love you so, so much. Comment down below the fox emoji. I think there's a fox emoji. All of my socials will be linked in the description as always, as well as the besties and books book club information. And I will see you guys in my next video. Take care and goodbye.